Thank you, Harpreet, and a very warm welcome to everyone that's here this evening. I remarked earlier to a few people, in three years, this is the third time I've seen this room full to capacity. And, and what an honor and a remarkable occasion and a privilege it is for us to hear Angela Davis speak to us tonight about the meaning of freedom. Unlike most of our students, I'm old enough to remember Ms. Davis' early years as a political activist and her enormous influence for almost 50 years in championing social justice and combating all forms of oppression. So I am very eager to learn from her this evening and appreciative of the opportunity. I also want to thank the Office of Diversity and Multiculturalism, the Feminist Collective, the Department of Gender and Women's Studies, and Common Ground for making this happen at Keene State College. And I know uh, that Ms. Davis was here one month after 9-11 in 2001, so welcome back. Uh, and this evening would not have happened without the work and effort of Dr. Dottie Morris, our Chief Diversity <laughs> provide a detailed introduction of our speakers, so I thought I would just comment briefly on the significance of this event in the larger context of our college and our mission. And as I listened to Harpre read the Keene State Diversity Statement, I was once again reminded of our moral and ethical obligation as educators to offer a campus culture that doesn't stop at tolerance or celebration but in fact embraces values and respect for difference in whatever form it takes. And indeed, one of the most important values of the college should embrace is a strong and steadfast commitment to diversity, equity, inclusion, and social justice, all of which are so well aligned with our speaker's life work. And embracing those values fits there very nicely into the mission of this college. So an understanding and an appreciation of diversity are fundamental elements to developing solutions to great challenges facing our country and the world. And another strong emphasis of our mission and our academic co-curricular programs is to prepare students to develop self-awareness and to engage boldly in the celebration of difference. So tonight's talk is exactly the kind of event that can lead to those outcomes. And personally, for myself, I hope it does, and I'm looking forward to it. And with that, I'm happy to turn the program over to Dr. Sarah Hottinger, the Associate Dean of Arts and Humanities. 